Hi, my name is Yuan. This is my wife Chen Chen. We are from Malaysia. We have been in Cambodia since 1996. Both of us are volunteer lecturers at the dental school, and we have been teaching there since 1996. We have two boys, uh, Joshua and Nicholas. Going to church with my parents and uh, one day there was a speaker from a Singapore Bible College and he mentioned something about us uh, Christian families who uh, tend to give God our leftovers and that really touched me uh, very deep into my soul that if we treat God this way that's really wrong and so that night I really felt that um, God is telling me something to give my best. And so it's been a journey through joining uh, mission uh, seminars and to going to uh, mission trips. So finally it was Cambodia that we felt the confirmation of where God wants us to serve. There is a breakdown in the structure of medical care in Cambodia because it's not accessible to everyone. So only the rich get to get their treatment whereas the poor are left uh, on their own. And a lot of times, uh, it's those in uh, power or authorities sometimes uh, have more access to either to the corruptions or to other ways to get uh, more money. So the poor are normally the ones who are affected. There's, there's also a problem about Cambodia when people are sick because they don't have uh, enough money to go and see a proper doctor or dentist they may go and see a traditional doctor. And so sometimes the situation becomes worse because of that. And by the time they come to the hospital, it could have been too late. So this can be very frustrating. I teach as a volunteer lecturer to the postgraduate orthodontic uh, students at the University of Health Sciences. And I also volunteer at the CLEF Center to treat uh, CLEF uh, children. There are already teams that are doing the CLEF repair. What I do is I support these teams. What I do is when uh, these babies come to me, they are not able to go for surgery yet because they need to be at least three months. They need to be about a certain weight. So what we do is we help them to um, make the CLEF uh, site smaller. We help to reshape the nose. We also help them with the feeding. I also see children in their ages when they're about six to eight, when they, the teeth start coming through and they're all over the place, then we put braces in for them. And also in later days, uh, when 13 to 14, we will still be doing braces, following them up all the way to 18 to 20 years old. For my role in a dental student, uh, normally what we do is we have a weekly Bible study together. But once a month, we have students who come to our house and that's when we have a time where we provide a meal for them. I think the informal time they have meal, sharing a meal together is where sometimes we have them come to us and they open up and share their problem. And I can see that some of these students have grown to uh, see the needs to care for the community. And out of that, we know of two dental students who are now in their final year. Now they are so eager to go there say, Teacher, you know, we have made arrangements, would you like to come and join us? And so they will do all the preparations. So to see that they have caught the vision and the desire to serve the people has really encouraged us a lot. Becoming a Christian, not necessarily become rich, but for many lives in Cambodia, they have been bound by spirits. To become a Christian gave them this release and freedom. And this might even be more important than becoming rich because they saw that there are a lot of rich people with lots of problems in Cambodia. I think for the, some of the poor people as well, when they become Christian, though they have not come out of poverty, but they have a confidence and trust that uh, there's a God who is with them. 
Some of them, I you know of one of them, one of the lady, she's actually a road sweeper. She's very poor, she's not going to get much money, but she will even willing to help those who are really in need. And that really encourages and really challenges as well. So out of poverty, they can still help others as well. See, Cambodian Christians are transformed by God's love and peace and joy. So even when they don't have much, they still have this sense that their life is abundant. And that's been really, really encouraging for us and for um, all those who worship together in the church. We praise God for those opportunities. Mission work is not about us as missionaries that come and do the work. I think we need to remember that it's God's work. We work together in partnership with the local people as well so that together we can build God's church. And ultimately, it's not about us, it's about God. And it's been wonderful to partner with God in His mission, in His kingdom. And it can be something that all of us can be involved. Not to say that we are indispensable, that we have come here to develop them, to train them up so that they will continue to establish the church and that the church will send missionaries out to other countries as well.